So we just got back to the house here. This is our house that is uh, for sale right now. And supposedly, supposedly, supposedly the uh, boat is supposed to be delivered today. We got a couple packages. Looks like it's probably the uh, the canopy. There's, we, we bought a whole enclosure for it. And uh, some other anchors and some other stuff. So I'll have to go through here and see what we have. Cool. Should be like a full enclosure for the uh, inflatable boat. So I'll have to get into that and see what we got. Clayton's helping put away our stuff that we got and snacks and all that. He just got home too from work. All right, so these are the wheels for the uh, boat. I forgot that I ordered those. I might have been, uh, had a couple beers or something. But apparently these are come, they just came in. That's cool. Lightweight aluminum. This will be nice and easy. So this is the enclosure. So that's what it's going to look like. Went with an Aleco inflatable. That's about 11 foot. I don't think this this looks like a smaller one than the one that we, that we got, but it's probably just a stock photo. Cool. When that go comes, I just checked the uh, tracking, and that looks like it's on its way. It might be delayed, but those wheels will make it easy to or, or easier to move around. All right, so I got some more of my boxes open. Uh, these are awesome right here. Some of you guys and gals know what these are for. Use these uh, for tying up to shore or at the sandbar. And you just throw a bar on top, whatever size, or a pipe, PVC. I've used PVC. We're probably just going to use PVC for, for, for the uh, inflatable. Got a front and a back one of those. I got a lanyard, safety lanyard, because I have an old uh, 82 Evinrood without a tether. And I think that you should have a tether. It's a lot safer with a tether on like a inflatable or something. I uh, got the tires or the wheels put together and ready to go. And then here is my anchor. I believe in uh, decent anchors. So I went with uh, Mantis. This is the 2.5 pound. They have an 8 and a 13 pound. And then if you have a bigger boat, they might have bigger anchors. But... That's one of the best uh, anchors that you're going to find for a, for a boat, though. A little more up close look at the Mantis anchor. It's one of the best anchors in the business. And you can tell it's stainless steel. So it should never... Uh, solid magnet, so it should never rust or anything. You know, it should last a couple years for... We'll leave links in the description for uh, these items and the boat and the top and I think the wheels also uh, and the safety lanyard. It's just a little generic safety lanyard that I think I'm going to have to uh, wire up pretty easily. It looks like it's just a two wire job so that's probably just always on pretty much. So we just took delivery of the uh, boat, it's the 320 Aleco. This is Autumn. I'll help uh, unload this. Brittany, my wife, said that the uh, delivery guy was sweating a little bit. wasn't wasn't so happy about dropping this off. About a hundred, hundred and five pounds. Oh. We are. Opening this thing up. This is the inflatable floor one, so it's not the aluminum floor one. Oh, it looks like that's the inflatable inflatable floor. Sweet. Good. We can register. It. There's a certificate of origin. Looks like so we can register it. Maybe some seats. Looks like two seats, probably. In your hand. Yep. That's the carrying bag right on top there. A couple of oars. Cool. 
collapsible oars. And then we'll just pick this whole uh, box up or what? Just dump the whole thing over? There you go. Good. Sweet. Red. There's the repair kit right there and the foot pump. So we'll just lay it out here on the driveway. Sweet, there's the uh, stern transom and the bow is facing away from us sweet looks like it'll, uh, it'll uh, go together pretty fast so this is the boat that we have for this uh, motor the Evan Rude 15 and we put the uh, fins on so this should be cool We'll uh, get this inflated and update you here in a minute. All right, so we have in, uh, electric inflators, but we are going to, uh, since this came with it, we're going to try this for a little while. Blood workout. Looks like it's going pretty quick, though. Cool. I couldn't imagine us doing this with the foot pump uh, at the boat launch. We'd need to use the electric pump, I, I think. All right, when it, when it comes in a big old box, it's kind of hard to tell that it's gonna be a boat, but uh, it's coming right together. Doing something. Sweet. There's a tie down for a fuel tank. Two seats. So you can seat four people on this. Should be uh, pretty awesome. We might be able to pull this in the motorhome somewhere. Great. All right, so I just threw on the uh, back transport wheels. Gooped them all up with some sealant. I'll clean that up and uh, put a final uh, seam around the uh, outside of that aluminum. Otherwise, it's coming together pretty decently. I think it'll uh, be a fun little boat for sure. And inside there, I just have everything gooped up with... Uh, some marine grade silicone or sealant and I'll uh, clean that all up. And this right here, if you have a inflatable, that's what your uh, outboard attaches to. So you'll screw your screws down and they have those holes and then you can just there, attach those to that. I'll show you right here. These guys right here. So you screw these down and then you can just run it like a little line or something through that. coming together though and the seats just slide on to those uh, ribs these guys right here it just slides over that and there's a fuel hold down fuel tank hold down right there probably three or six gallon max just because of the clearance of the seat sweet about a thousand pound capacity be a fun, fun little uh, toy. Beat up for a while. A lot of these nowadays are all made in the same factory, the Chinese ones. We finally made it out to the lake after we had to go on a search for all of our emergency supplies we need for our boat. The motor's not still, still not running right. Not sure what the deal is, but... I have to buy another one. 
Backing up. Autumn's with us. Hi. What you thinking? I like it. You like the water? It hasn't been a while. It's been a while. Since we've been out on the water? Yeah. This is Stewart Lake in Marshall, Michigan. There's a family of swans up here. Five of them. We'll try to get a closer view. Beautiful. I think the last time we came out on this lake, we were testing out a motor too. We got our new boat. It's all registered and legit. We're floating. Idling good, it's just not. Uh, it trolls. Getting up the speed. And... <laughs> All right. Whoa. Those people have a dock out there, and there's like nothing yeah. anywhere near it. It's so cool. Okay. Should have brought a couple cocktails and. Relaxed a bit. Work. What'd you do to it? Just adjusted the motor a little bit. See what happens. Okay. Whoa. She fires up though. <laughs> she about got knocked out. Yep. <laughs> Shot to me. <laughs> <laughs> Water just went woo! Uh, it's in the afternoon boat. <laughs> I'm in the eyeball. I'm having some, some kind of issue. Fix. Is it a fixable issue? Hopefully. Not. <laughs> In the bottom of the water. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's what the problem is. There's not enough water air in the boat. Not enough air in the old boat. Like the down middle. here. Oh, Everywhere. Yeah. Oh. I felt the bottom go. Yeah. Not enough air.
country. I want one of those. No wake zone sign. Yep, that's exactly what it Someone is. Someone ran into it. Probably. Something. And they were going past. They were going so fast and they probably ran into it. I don't know. Or unless it was like high tide or something. I don't know. Slow. to that house over there. I think it's been for sale for years. Touch it, they're good. Wait, it's still coming. When he comes in, you gotta grab it for him. Okay? Grab it.
much fun. So we're gonna put a little more air in it. Yeah, after everybody got in there, it stretched out. After we got in there, our big butt stretched the plastic out, so. Make some adjustments. It's a beautiful day. I'm swaggy. <laughs>